हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ अ वीडियो फॉर क्लास टेन एंड इट इज टोटली अबाउट द सिमिलैरिटी यू ऑल माइट बी नोइंग अबाउट द एग्जाम्स ऑफ सिमिलैरिटी दैट हाउ टू प्रूव द ट्राइंगल्स आर सिमिलर नाउ लेट इस कम टू नो अबाउट द बेसिक प्रपोर्शनैलिटी थ्योरम देर आर टू थ्योरम्स इन योर टू थ्री थ्योरम्स इन योर बुक सो टूडे आई विल कवर बेसिक प्रपोर्शनैलिटी थ्योरम एंड इट्स कन्वर्स सो हियर देर वॉज अ मैथमेटिक्स मैथमेटिशियन दैट नेम वॉज थेल्स हु डिस्कवर्ड अ थ्योरम दैट इज कॉल्ड थेल्स थेल्स थ्योरम also it is called basic proportionality theorem because it talks about the proportion let's see if a line divides two sides of a triangle such that it is parallel to the third side then the line divides both line in the same ratio see here in figure a b c d e is a line that is parallel to b c and also it intersects a b and a c such that ad upon db is equal to ae upon ec so this is called the basic proportionality theorem now we are going to prove this theorem since here some points are given such that de is parallel to bc so we have been told that bc is parallel to de this is a condition for the basic proportionality theorem basic proportionality theorem will only work if de will be parallel to bc so here we have to do some construction for construction we have to draw le that is perpendicular to ad and we have to draw dm that is perpendicular to ae and we have to join dc and be okay after that to prove what we have to prove that ad upon bd is equal to ae upon ec it means that we have to prove that de bisect uh, intersect ab and ac in same proportion okay now let's see proofs here a certain proof now let Uh, find area of triangle ade area of triangle ade so we will take half into base into height we know half into ad is the base here ad and le is the perpendicular so we will take half into ad into le now area of bde area of bde here c this is a triangle which contains an acute angle that is acute angle triangle sorry obtuse obtuse angle that is obtuse angle triangle so for obtuse angle triangle the altitude lies outside the triangle so this is le that is height so here in this case we will take half into base into height so base will be db but height will be le we have taken it now we will find ratio of both these areas so after finding ratio we will get that a area of ade upon area of bo e is equal to uh, all sorry bde bde is equal to ad upon bd so this is equation 1 now let's come to area of aed in this here a and e and d so aed again ae will be the base and dm will be the uh, height okay so half into base into height now area of dec area of dec this is also an obtuse angle triangle so here altitude will lie outside the triangle that is dm okay so here also we taken half into ec into dm now ratio we will take such that area of aed upon area of dec is equal to ae upon ec this is equation number 2 since triangle dec and bde are the triangles on the same base under same parallel so they are equal see this triangle this triangle that dbe and dec they are the triangles under the same base so their area is also equal you have learned this property so therefore by equating equation number 1 and equation number 2 we will get here ad upon db is equal to ae upon ec and what we were supposed to prove that this ad upon db upon equal to ae upon ec so we have proved this basic proportionality theorem so it is very easy theorem and you will get a lot of question based on this theorem in your board exams now let's see the converse of the basic proportionality theorem okay in converse the condition which was given to you earlier will be asked and the condition which you proved will be given so here if a line dividing two sides of a triangle such that they got sorry they get divided in equal ratio so the line dividing the side is parallel to the base so here you have to prove that if de is a line that is intersecting ab and ac such that they are in same proportion so de is parallel to bc we have to prove this so for this some uh, what is given so we have to note it down ad upon db that is ad upon db is equal to ae upon ac okay so to prove what we have to prove de is parallel to bc 
means we have to prove that DE is parallel to BC. So for that we have to do some construction. So for construction we just made a fake line that is a line we considered it a line that such as DR which is parallel to BC so that we can use BPT theorem in this triangle. So we have considered a line that is DR and that is parallel to BC. It is not parallel we know but we have to consider it ok. So let us consider a line DR which is parallel to BC. So see this triangle A, D, A, B, C in this BC is a base and DR is parallel to the base and by using BPT theorem we can say that AD upon DB is equal to AR upon RC. So what we have written here AD upon DB is equal to AR upon RC. This is equation number 1. Now according to the given, according to given here see first equation AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC this is equation number second. So since we are getting this AD upon DB and here AD upon DB in both so we can equate the, um, these both equations so on equating we will get AR upon RC is equal to AE upon AC. What does it mean? It means now after that we will add here 1. So after adding 1 AR upon RC plus 1 AE upon see AE upon EC plus 1 we will get here AR plus RC AE plus EC upon RC here upon EC ok. Now see in the figure that what is AR upon RC see here AR upon A sorry AR plus RC what is AR plus RC AC itself so we have written here AC now see AE plus EC what is AE plus EC AE plus EC it is also AC so we will again write here AC so AC upon RC and AC upon EC is equal to RC equal to EC ok so from here what we have shown that RC equal to EC where is RC this is RC is equal to EC what does it mean it means that RE is equal to 0 it means point R and E coincides means they are not two points they are same point so it means that point R and E coincide with each other or RE equals to 0 so DR and DE is the same line so DE is always parallel to BC so we have proved this theorem like this ok so we have done it and we have proved the basic proportionality theorem and its converse so please stay with me and I will cover some more important topics of this chapter such as such that angle bisector theorem and few important question of proving trapezium and and several questions okay so keep supporting me like subscribe and share my video thank you thanks